Hey guys, Tim here with The Long Hair Gardener, and today I'm going to pot up some amaryllis bulbs. I am definitely a little late uh, with planting these bulbs up. Typically, uh, if you don't know what amaryllis bulbs are, they are a flowering bulb. The bulbs are usually pretty big, maybe like the size of my uh, fist. You'll see them here in just a minute. Um, and they shoot up, they're kind of very similar to like a magic lily, so they'll shoot up a stalk and then you'll get uh, a cluster of flowers. They typically bloom or you see them for sale usually around um, like December for Christmas time. I guess they're considered like a Christmas flower. So anyway, I'm a little behind because we are now near the end of what month is it? November. Um, nearing the end of November. So I'm behind on getting these planted. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, it's very simple. I'm just gonna pop them in a pot um, so that hopefully they will bloom. I did buy the bulbs maybe like a week ago and believe it or not, they are not in the ground. They're not even in the sun. They were in, um, they were just in paper bags and they are already shooting out their stalks with buds on them to bloom. So I really need to get those in the ground. So. I think it's a little too cold outside to do to plant the bulbs up so I'm gonna go into my basement and we're gonna plant those up down there all right here we are inside um, my basement so I have all the supplies that I need I have some terracotta pots of course the bulbs and then some potting mix um, I think any potting mix will work uh, as long as it is uh, well draining, but I think that is probably most potting potting mixes. So I'm just going to come in here, fill up the pot a little bit. I think we're going to stop right there. So as you can see, the bulbs are pretty big. Um, the size depends on the variety that you get and also when the plant blooms also depends on the variety that you get. So you can see this one here is much bigger and does not have um, the stalks coming yet that are going to produce the flowers. So these right here, there are two stalks, which is where the um, flowers are going to come out. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this outer coating off just a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy here, but I did want to take a little bit of that off. So of course this is the bottom and all you do is just sit it in here. Actually, I think I'm going to put a little bit more soil. So these bulbs like to be root bound. If you're wondering why such a tiny pot, uh, the ideal um, pot size is maybe about an inch all the way around the bulb. These plants actually thrive and do better when they're a little bit root bound. So that's why it's such a small pot and such a large bulb. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead, gonna go ahead here and fill up the other pot. So these are also not like, you know, a tulip or a daffodil where you actually bury the bulb. Um, these need to be sticking out of the ground. So maybe about halfway, bring the soil about halfway up to the bulb. This bulb is a little bit bigger. This pot maybe is a little less than an inch all the way around, but I think that's going to be just fine. So all you do is just sit them in there just like that. You know what? I think I'm going to do just a little bit more soil in here. All right, put the roots down in there. And now I'm just going to go around and fill in the gap here. 
I am so not used to doing things inside, so I'm immediately thinking, okay, I'm going to be making a huge mess, but I guess that's fine. So that's, that is basically it. Let me come in here and do the other one. Oh yeah, definitely making a huge mess. Just kind of jiggle that around. So these bulbs, once you get them in the, the pots um, and give them the appropriate light, they will bloom anywhere from six to eight weeks after you put them in the pot or before, as you can see here. Um, so ideally you want to plant them in October so that you will have them blooming for Christmas if that's what you want. But um, like I said, I'm a little late and honestly, I think this one is going to be blooming for Christmas and this one maybe January, which is fine for me. So I should probably mention that the varieties I've got here, this one is called Picasso. Um, so that's this one right here. And then I also have uh, terracotta, which is this much larger bulb. All right, so I did get two each, one for me and one for my mom. So I'm gonna go ahead and get hers planted up and then we'll come back in a few weeks and then I'll show you um, how much they've grown. All right, this is what they look like after they've all been potted up. Um, so this is the appropriate um, depth for the bulb. I know it just is gonna feel like it's just sitting in there, which it basically is. Um, but once the start, the roots start growing, um, it should take hold enough um, that the bulb will be secure in the pot and not fall over. So I did water these. Um, you just want to water, I guess water them in, but not, just give them a little water um, until they start to grow. Like these guys over here are starting to grow. Um, so they're okay to get maybe just a little bit more water. Um, you don't want to overwater these because they are bulbs and they are inside. Um, otherwise they may rot. So just a little bit watered until they get started. I'm gonna take these upstairs and put them in a sunny window. And then once they start growing, not super sunny, I guess, um, bright light or a little, a little bit of sun will be fine. But once they bloom, it's a good idea to just put them in a bright spot out of direct sunlight. That way the flowers or the blooms will last longer. All right, so we will check back in a few weeks and see how they're looking. All right, guys, it has been maybe three-ish weeks um, since I planted the bulbs, and now it's time to take a look and see what we have here. So the one bulb, I'm just going to flip this around so you can see. Again, I am in the basement, obviously. Um, so this guy has bloomed. I'll try to get a better shot here. And I am very happy with this. So this one is an Amaryllis Picasso. And I think it has really amazing color. The blooms are smaller than I was expecting, but that is okay. It's still very beautiful. And I think I counted maybe 11 or 12 buds on here. So it is going to be blooming for some time and just in time for Christmas. So that's this guy. This other one over here, which is has a huge bulb, still hasn't really done anything yet but amaryllis do um, bloom at different times so i think this guy's a late bloomer 
maybe we'll see something happening in January for this guy. But as of right now, this is what the Picasso looks like and I really couldn't be any happier with it. I gave mom um, hers and hers is also blooming. So I think this is a win for the Amaryllis this year. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you um, learned something and hopefully you will be inspired to grow an Amaryllis of your own. So um, please click like and subscribe on this video and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day in your garden.